With Governor Holcomb's stay at home order and the CDC's recommendations on the number of people allowed at any given place, the wedding industry is taking a big hit. Caitlin Kendall is digging deeper tonight into how couples are responding to it. Krista, we're both newly married, so we know firsthand what it takes. Months, even sometimes years, a lot goes into planning that big day. So imagine planning your dream wedding only to have it all fall apart. In a small clothing boutique in Auburn, Olivia Martin is hard at work keeping her business running. So I've gone onto Facebook. I've been doing live sales almost daily. I've been having um, sales on our website for things. But it is, it's such a time of unknown and what are we going to do? But Martin is also working on planning her wedding to marry her best friend, Drew Hansen. He's sticking through it. He's been there through all of my emotions, through all of this. The dress, the altar, the bouquet, the happy couple. I was so excited. I mean, we have been planning this for over a year. With a date narrowing in for Martin and Hansen. We were like 34 days out when everything started happening. April 11th, 2020, no longer set. There were a lot of tears shed. Not because they didn't want to get married then, but because of the regulations made to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Our venue contacted us and was like, we are closing our doors until May 10th. With wedding plans up in the air, the couple left to figure out what could be done. I have so many things that say 4-11-2020 on them <laughs> that I'm like, what am I going to do with these? Now, Martin is planning what she says feels like a second wedding. Other than everything that says 4-11-2020, um, I'll have to get all of those redone. Finding a new band, finding new makeup, getting hair put together, the guy's tuxes. The list? goes on. It was super chaotic thinking, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to send all new invites. I'm gonna have to contact all of our vendors, start from scratch pretty much. With a lengthy list of items to be redone and the want for their entire family and friends to be present, Martin knew the date needed to be moved. But the initial feeling was just really let down, really let down. I mean, obviously this isn't in anyone's control. But after having their heart set on the original date, it's not hard to get emotional thinking about the wait. The wait to say I do, the wait to walk down the aisle, the wait to start forever. It's just crazy, like. It's tough. <laughs> yeah, but we'll get through it. It's gonna be great. Just a lot of um, letdown. Jody Garretson, like Martin, also owns her own business. This one? a chapel and wedding planning. A little crazy, a little crazy. Garretson says she's seen the impact COVID-19 has had on the wedding industry, and it hasn't just been emotionally. Right, the financial end, it's hitting all of us. It's hitting the couples, it's hitting the vendors, um, all the way around. But finding the silver lining. At the end of the day, you're gonna be married to your best friend. Is something she hopes all couples will do. You know, just try to make the best of it. Um, we can't, it'll be something to talk about in 10 years, for sure, on your anniversary. And that's exactly what Martin and her fiance are working on. It'll work out for the best. We just need to remember that we're getting to marry the love of our life no matter what. You may be wondering, what about the honeymoon? Martin and her fiance were set to go on one, but have since had to postpone. The resort that they were going to was working with them to book new dates. As for airfare, when I last spoke to Martin, they still couldn't get through to the airline to reschedule. Their new wedding date is set for July 25th.